What's going on, y'all? Come on, son. It's time for the detailed auction preview. For those that don't like, well, for those that like the short but want to see a little bit more information on what's going up, I'm, I'm doing these more detailed videos for y'all. So we got a few vintage bars that are going to be going up. Ignore the price. That's definitely not the price. But this one, Congress declares port, uh, ports open. April 6th, it's the uh, 200 year it's the American Revolution Bicentennial, Spirit of 76, pretty cool bar, I thought. And we've got this Eisenhower, it's toned up, another Bicentennial. I think that's it for the vintage bars, y'all. Unfortunately, we got a few vintage rounds. We've got this trade unit. I don't know what they call that one. So we got that one in the case. Well, whatever. A silly case. And then we even have the exact same one, but toned up. You know, she's got a little nick in here and there, but what do you expect? She's vintage. I like this Tony. I think this Tony's cool. And then uh, we've got the U.S. Constitution. No date on this one. Another trade unit. We've got this 83 Sunshine Silver. Sunshine Mining. I think that's, yeah, that's the bit right there. The mining's the old and the minting's the newer. So that's definitely vintage 83 piece we got this unity pentagon justice compassion and liberty september 11th At least we forget land of the free home of the brave one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all a little bit of toning going on on this thing and yeah i think that's it for the vintage I, well, I guess this technically is vintage. This is a two dollar nineteen seventy, I believe. Pan, uh, uh, Bahama, yeah, Bahama Islands. Young Queen, long neck. This is sterling silver, I believe. That I'll have to weigh it to verify, but I'm pretty sure that weighs an ounce. And then you've got the nineteen seventy three five dollar. Um, islands. I'll have to weigh this one too. This one obviously weighs more. I can tell just by the weight, the size. I'll have to weigh those so I can tell you guys exactly. Maybe this one actually isn't an ounce. I don't know. I'm not so sure. Then you got some of these Michelangelo uh, series rounds. Super mirror finish on these sterling silvers. And yeah, they got that information, or you know, they stuff on the rim on these yeah i should probably be wearing gloves with these but i know they've been handled a little bit and you got yep sorry about the nudity we got some tatas it's another one in the michelangelo series so we got two of those so four sterling silver um rounds there or coins and rounds i guess and let's see what else do we got we got we got the beech leaf with the COA. What is that, 25,000 vintage on those? Yep. Definitely have one of these already. So this one is going up. We got the 2023 Grogu. Already have that one, so that'll go up. We got the Shrek. I mean, everything I'm showing is going to be in the office today at 5 p.m. Eastern, Wednesday, March 13th, 5 p.m. Eastern. So you got the Fiji 2021. It's the Shrek Christmas. You've got the Saltwater Crocodile out of Australia in 2014. It's kind of crazy. That's 10 years old, huh? Let's see. We're going to start looking at some more premium kind of stuff here in a moment but i do have some i do have some uh some mercs i 
I think five dollars worth. There's more in here than five bucks, but the top little dollar or whatever is like a mixture. So I'll be pulling that stuff off and put some of that in my gate stack. But we'll have the Mercs available for y'all. We got this Queen's Beast 10 ounce 2020. She's not perfect. She's got a scratch. She's got some fingerprints or some nicks and whatnot. No capsule. But I thought it was cool. So I, I picked that up. I thought somebody might be interested that collects Queen Beast or that likes 10 ounces or whatever. You know, Let's, we'll find out. And uh, yeah, we've got this. We've got this sweet alien abduction. from the uh, Native American Mint, man. I love what the Native American Mint does. They do some really cool stuff. Really pricey, their stuff usually is. But there you go, that uh, Mesa Grande, alien abduction with the uh, space rocks or whatever they want to call that. I don't know what that really is. But anyways, there you go in all its glory. Pretty sweet piece. What else we got here? Well, I tried, put these up last week briefly at the end. They didn't sell, but I got the set of the Reckless Blood Coffins. It's number, they're all 185. So I'm going to try to keep them together as a set. I think they should be sold as a set. You got the five ouncer. You've got the 100 gram. You've got two ouncer. And you've got the one ounce. All together, that's 11.215 ounces. So basically 11 and a quarter ounces, give or take. I won this sick piece from Keevan Rose, this uh, Proof 70 Ultra Cam. 100th anniversary World Stamp Cinderella, man. I think these things go for some insane money, man. Insane money. The slab is just, it's monstrous. It's bigger than my hand. Man. This thing, this is one big ass slab. Not big apple stack or BAS, but BAS big ass slab. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, we got some gold. I did grab a couple one gram bell combis. And yes, that's the price I paid. I think at the time, melt was 70 bucks. So that's still not bad. I paid $2 over melt. I think melt still last time I looked sitting around 69 and change. So still great prices in my opinion. We'll see what you guys have to think. And then the two and a half gram in assay. Yeah, he charged me 182. So actually like $72 and 80 cents. I think um, melt on gram. It's a little bit more, but it's not a Valcombi, right? It's actually in the assay. So that, that's probably why he did that. And then I have three five gram golds this one is the pant lady fortuna she does not have an assay she is loose we got that's the credit suisse um these are five grammars and these two i believe are like istanbul um take a closer look at that when we get to the auction yeah so we got some gold y'all we got like 19 and a half grams of gold it's, it's pretty cool and then all right so i've got some extra um bills coming up soon for spring i've got to pay breach because you guys want more of the suck it bars and i had to make 20 so two times what he made last time and i got the tax for and they're virtually done so i'm gonna come up i gotta come up with the money to pay him as well so it's an extra expenditure so I, I reached in the deep stack and I was like, okay, what, what do I, what, what, what can I get rid of? That won't hurt me too bad, right? So I decided I've got my reckless Rolos. Um, I'm just, that's all I'm going to keep now as far as reckless. Um, that, once I get that set complete, then maybe I'll start looking at um, possibly collecting some more reckless. I mean, I do still have some of the skull stuff backstage that maybe i'll sell at some point here soon uh, but we grabbed the art bars this is the poured corners so you got you 
know, um, Pit Bullion, Lady, uh, ha I'm sorry, Pit Bullion, Haley Bug, Reckless Metals, and Silver Will Prosper? Silver Will Prosper? Oh, okay, I didn't know that it was the fourth person. There you go. Um, it's got a sticker in there. I'll, I'll include the sticker. Why not? But there you go. There's the bars, the cord corner. It's pretty cool. Had that for a while now, man. But can't keep everything. And so we're also going to go ahead and... It hurts me. But we're going to go ahead and sell the Year of the, the Tiger. If somebody's interested in this burnished. This thing is sick. The detail on this bar is ridiculous. But yeah, I really like this thing. I can't remember where I got it. But that thing is killer. I might have been got it from Robert Crawwell, possibly. I'm not sure. Then we've got the Year of the Ox as well. Brilliant Uncirculated. Vintage of 500 on the Ox. And there, there you go. So, you could grab two of the year ofs from me, potentially. What else do we have? We have the Pit Bullion Armored Truck from the Heist Series, 400 vintage on this. It's pretty cool. Pit Bullion makes some nice stuff as well. Then, I think I sold one of these before, but you got the Long Island Silver. This is a Reckless Metals and Long Island Silver. Mother's Day 2022, 350 uh, vintage proof finish on this one. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's in the strip club. So we got that. And we've got this. Locker Mint War, vintage of 666 BU, one ounce. There's your Locker Mint. And there you go, there's the War. War Bar. I haven't had this for super long. That thing is cool, in my opinion. Very cool. So, all this Art Bar stuff's low vintage. We have this as well, and I don't know much about this one at all. It comes with the sticker and the COA. I got this from Kentucky John a long time ago, last year sometime. The series is the Harry Potter Magical Creatures, and this is the Hungarian um, Horntail Dragon, 2023, vintage of 200. And it comes in a really cool case as well, our capsule as well. Thanks. Look at that mirror finish on that thing. That thing's nice, man. It's nice. Hate to get rid of some of this premium stuff, but it's, something's got to give, y'all. Something's got to give. I've sold off all the vintage bars that I'm interested in selling at this time. I've gone through most of my one ounce stuff so it's premium stuff's got to go at this point that's 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 what's happening here and then last but not least we got the omen precious metals now i tried to get some information on this because i can't remember where i got this how much i paid for it. it's been a long time um but it's the tracker hall plank I guess it's two ounces. I believe it's actually a little over two ounces. I'll have to weigh it. It's open, so, you know, it's not low mintage necessarily. Um, it is toned. And from what I can find, it's only on Instagram where he sells this Omen Precious Metal stuff. So um, I must have got it from somebody in the community, I guess, that got it from Instagram. Or maybe it's not Instagram. Maybe it's uh, X or twatter, as I like to call it, <laughs> which I'm not on, so, but yeah, I, I, 
The only thing I could find was a three ounce or that sold. Um, I couldn't find this two ounce. So I'm not really sure. Some of the stuff I'm speculating on, on, on the price as far as where I'm going to start it. Cause I don't remember what I paid for some of these dart bars at the end here. And, um, just trying to pick a fair number to start with and we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, y'all. If you guys aren't interested, you're not interested. If you are, you are. We'll see how it goes. So that's it. That is the auction preview. Today is Wednesday morning. The auction is tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern. I will be at the coin shop later today. It'll be the first time I've hit the shop since Friday. So there's potential that there'll be more than this in the auction. But at a minimum, we've got this. We've got a few things that didn't sell last time that I might bring back as well. So, but that's it, y'all. 16 minute long video, much longer than your 60 second short auction preview. So, all right, y'all, appreciate it. If you like this uh, detailed preview auction, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you want to share it out, hey, share it out. But regardless, hopefully I see you later today at 5 p.m. Eastern for the auction where all this incredible stuff is going to be up for sale. And you have a chance at picking yourself up some good deals on some really sweet pieces. All right, y'all. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. See you later today. Later.